The chokehold that Temu has on me right now is unreal. I got these for probably like 80 cents. Hi guys. It has been a while. Okay, I have literally 10 minutes to film this before my next meeting, but I'm back. I accidentally took, um, what is it? Three and a half years, a three and a half year break on YouTube. Ultimately, why I left was because I was really burnt out. I'm sure that's not a surprise to anyone, especially as someone that has been chronically online since I was 13 years old. I basically lived my life as like a normal person um, offline and I really, really loved it. <laughs> okay, no more coffee. This is like my fourth cup of the day. We just got a new espresso machine and it is so dangerous because i'm so caffeinated all the time in short it was just because i had spent so much of my life online sharing my life with you guys and while i really loved it i also wanted to explore other things like just living really presently in college i didn't want to have to worry about uploading every week and always filming always vlogging when i'm out with friends so ultimately i just wanted like a normal college experience which i'm really glad i got and in the last three and a half years which is insane it's been that long when i stopped youtube i had just moved to san francisco for my first internship where i worked on the product team for nine months was at the office pretty late like i wouldn't get home until seven or so and it would be pitch black and then i'd be like oh i can't film and i never actually planned to leave youtube for that long i really thought i was gonna take just like a month or two or three months off and then before i knew it it's been almost four years so i guess to briefly catch you guys up i graduated last year in may from northeastern uh with a degree in finance yeah it was really awesome to graduate finally because i was really not a fan of school i just i just couldn't do it i'm so much happier now post-grad and i realized like waking up super fucking early to go to school which is like having homework like was not not it i thrive so much more now that I've graduated. I also took a year to travel um, with my boyfriend. We both work remotely, so we basically just traveled for a whole year. We just moved into a new apartment in Cambridge, so that's where we'll be based for the next year. But yeah, after San Francisco, I moved back to Boston. I was there for a little bit, and then when COVID hit, me and my boyfriend actually went to Europe for a year. I took all my classes online because everything was on Zoom anyways, but we were in London and Italy for a bit, which was just so lovely, so amazing. I also, yeah, fell in love. I had a boyfriend. We met in October of 2019, so it was like briefly right before I actually stopped doing YouTube. We met on Hinge and he's just the best person ever. I, I'm so happy that he's in my life, um, but I don't think he'll be on my channel anytime soon since he is a pretty private person. But yeah, we've been together for almost four years and um, we do live together. We actually moved in together over COVID. Anyway, that's like a brief catch up. Now I am working at a startup. I spent some time doing venture capital in between the last three years, realized it like wasn't my thing. Um, and now I'm back to working at a startup. I work at a series A company super early It's about like 30 people super small. I really like how like close the team is so here's the deal Oh, you can see my bread. I Am really really excited to finally be on camera again and just like I don't know hang out with you guys I really miss YouTube as much as there were like negative sides of it like always having your life subject to strangers like comments and thoughts and stuff it was good for me to step away from that for a while but i feel like now i don't know if i would argue that i'm more mentally stable but i'm older and i hopefully like i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes but i do have an exciting update which is i will be uploading weekly on youtube again um i just really miss it and I wanted to get into a place where I was like comfortable and wanted to film and I am really excited to be doing a lot of cooking and baking content so I'm gonna start a new series where I basically vlog for 30 minutes a day. I don't know how long the final video will be but I'm basically gonna take you guys along with me as I make lunch every day because I work like pretty late hours and so I don't always have time to like sit down and film like a very in-depth video but I also learned how to cook in the last three years. Um, I was meal prepping scrambled eggs in my college dorm 
And now I make bread from scratch. I just really love cooking and being in the kitchen. I love baking, I love fermenting. And so I would love to take you guys along with me if you're down. <laughs> I think YouTube has given me so many awesome opportunities over the last few years. Like a lot of my closest friends are from YouTube. I actually get to see Lisa on Wednesday, which is in two days, so I'm really excited. That is pretty much the gist. I'm so open to hearing your guys' comments and feedback, so let me know what you guys wanna see. I probably will sprinkle in some like makeup and just like sit down Q&A videos. Um, I love to talk. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just really excited to be starting up my YouTube channel again. I feel like it was missing from my life for a long time. I'm so appreciative of everyone that's like stuck around. I see you guys when you guys DM me or comment on my Instagram videos. I've also been on TikTok for like a year now, but I'm incredibly bad at it. I'm just not good at short form video content because I think I'm just used to like sitting down and talking for like 20 minutes straight. I've also filmed this video so many times, you guys. I can't even express how many times I've sat down and filmed this, but just never thought it was like good enough because I had hyped up my like YouTube comeback for so long. I was like, I'm gonna get back into it. I'll post three times a week. I'll do a ton of like fashion and beauty content. And I just, I kind of, reverted back to like what my youtube channel used to be when i was in high school because i just like didn't know anything else and i guess i put a lot of pressure on myself that when i come back it has to be like this grand thing whereas in reality i just want to like hang out bake maybe share some recipes like some things that i love to eat and make it's also been a really healing process for me as someone that struggled with like eating as a whole uh it's just like very very healing for me to be in the kitchen and to make stuff and like take the time to make something really beautiful and just derive pleasure out of food so that's been cool but yeah subscribe if you want to see any of that thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you guys in the next one